Hello everybody, my name is the Soul Blade, you can call me Soul for short, and today we are going to start off on our journey with my Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke. Uh, so real quick, while we're going through this, this Nuzlocke will not end at the Elite Four, it will end at Red. Um, or, you know, obviously if we, we white out uh, completely, if we have no usable mons in our box. But um, yeah, we're going to just keep going, and here we go. My name is, again, Soul, but, I mean, the Soul Blade doesn't fit. And also, I mean, Soul's just a little bit cleaner as well. Alright, Grand Adventure, time to get going. Okay, let's check our mail real quick. From Lyra. Adventure, excited. I love Pokemon. So do I, Lyra. We'd probably get along in real life. All right, we're going to go down here, and uh, Editor editor Soul is going to take it away real quick and let you guys know the rules for this, so take it away, Editor Soul. Hey guys, Editor Soul here, and today I'm going to be going over the Nuzlocke rules for my Randomizer Nuzlocke series. Rule number one, if a Pokemon faints, it's considered dead. That means it cannot be used anymore and must either be released or placed in a death box. Rule two, I can only catch the first Pokemon in every route, with Four exceptions. Exception one is if there, if the Pokemon is a gifted Pokemon or a static encounter. Static encounters are pretty self-explanatory, but I will point them out in the game when I get to them. Exception two is if the Pokemon is shiny. Having a one in four thousand and ninety-six chance to find a Pokemon probably not going to happen. But if I do, that's a super hype moment, and I don't want to have to knock it out or run. Exception 3 is traded Pokemon. So in Violet City, you can trade a Spearow for an Onyx. Now in this version of the game that I'm playing, all of that's randomized. So they may ask for a Growlithe and trade me a Lugia. I'm allowed to make that trade if I have a Growlithe. It doesn't matter what route I got it on. Uh, and the final exception is if I already have captured a Pokemon from that evolutionary line. So if I have a Growlithe and I run into a Wild Arcanine, I'm allowed to run away from that Arcanine and re-encounter. I can also capture it if I want to, but it would count as my encounter in that case. Rule number three, I must nickname every Pokemon that I catch. Traded Pokemon are an exception because I cannot name them. But rule number four, I can continue so long as I have Pokemon in my box that are still alive, even if I get a full team wipe. Uh, and then rule number five is the Nuzlocke doesn't actually begin until I have Pokeballs. So the first route, up until I'm given Pokeballs or find one on the ground, if a Pokemon dies, it doesn't die, and I'm allowed to catch the Pokemon when I actually have Pokeballs. And that's it. Other than that, I really hope that you guys are going to enjoy the series as much as I enjoy recording it. Thank you so much for watching. Hey guys, I also just wanted to mention that on the next episode, all of the aspects of the DS screens will be fixed. On this one, I recorded the episode and I wasn't actually able to watch while I was recording so I missed the fact that there's some black bars in the edges but that will be fixed in episode two all right and now that editor soul has explained to you what the rule set for this nuz for my nuzlocks rather um are we're gonna go ahead and change our text speed to fast and not set we will eventually do some hardcore nuzlocks but yeah, so we are uh, prepared now, and we're just going to keep on going. Can't wait to see what our starters are, so I, I did do a few test episodes that weren't completely randomized, and uh, the first one that I did was a Miss Magius, which was awesome, it was modest nature, but the abilities weren't randomized, it had Torrent, so <laughs> I had to re-randomize the ROM, and uh, yeah, here we go. going to head off to Professor Elm's lab. And we're gonna check this out. So obviously this is generation four, so generations one through four Pokemon are in the game, as well as the physical special split, which is probably the reason why I like this version more than the original, honestly. Alright, let's see what we get. A Hitmon Lee. A Squirtle? And, oh, okay, we're going Toxic Rogue. Let's go. Toxic Croak is one of my favorite Pokemon. I love Squirtle. Like, if it wasn't Toxic Croak, I probably would have chosen Squirtle there. Uh, we're gonna name Toxic Croak. We're just gonna name him Frog. Uh, from Chrono Trigger. 
very good JRPG. And yeah, so Frog is our starter. A fighting poison type, so let's hope we don't run into any psychic type Pokemon. Yikes. <laughs> Alright, let's check out Frog. He does not have an item. He is a sassy in nature and has Drizzle? Yo, that's kind of broken though. Okay. We'll go ahead and take a Toxic Rope with Drizzle. That's insane. Now we kind of think of a, we need a water type Pokemon now. All right, so we got some potions from uh, Professor Elm's aid there, and we're gonna keep on going. So, oh, what's this? I'm gonna turn notifications off on my phone real quick because I don't want it to uh, vibrate or anything while this episode is going. But yeah, we got a Toxicroak now, specifically Frog. Do I have to show my mom? I don't remember if I have to show my mom before I leave, so we're just gonna go ahead and show her the Toxicroak now. I mean, honestly, we're so much cooler than little old Meryl. Okay, yep. Right, that's right, that's right. We get our Poke Gear now. Uh, I do remember how, but you're going to tell me anyways. <laughs> I always thought that was like the, the most ridiculous thing is like, do you know how to use the phone? Yes, okay, well, just go ahead and tells, proceeds to tell you how to use the phone. <laughs> I always thought that was a bit crazy. Oh, Professor Elm. What do you want? Oh, right, he gives me his number. Okay. I don't think that they ever, that he ever gave you the number. They did fix some things in this, like, um, they never... Like, in the original, he didn't actually give you the number, he just randomly called you. Alright, so the Nuzlocke doesn't start until we get Pokeballs, which obviously we do not quite have yet. But, okay, we're not going to find a single Pokemon. You know what would be really terrible is if our starter had a, or if our rival had a Psychic-type Pokemon, but he shouldn't, right? He should have him on leader Squirtle, so yeah, we should, we should be pretty good here. Ooh, a Frostlass. Okay, Frostlass would be pretty sick. Although, I, does it get Psychic-type moves? I don't remember. Um, I mean, Mud Slap. Oh, no. Look, look, Frostlass. I just want to defeat you so I can move on. Okay. Yikes. Um. <laughs> oh, wait, what am I doing? I have Astonish. Yeah, that's super effective. Okay, cool. And a flinch coming out from Frog here. We're gonna go ahead and just knock out this, uh... Oh, we're not. We're not. Also, I have, uh, part of this is... Part of the randomizer that I'm using actually sets the tech speed in battle to fast. Um, it makes it very fast. That way, it kind of gets rid of some of that Gen 4 slowness. Um, although I think they might have fixed that themselves. Oh, look at this, an item. If it's a Pokeball, I'm going to be sad. Oh, this is this sucks. This sucks. I shouldn't have picked it up. So our Nuzlocke is officially started because I got a Pokeball, so the next Pokemon that we find is our encounter for this route. Get out. Oh, thank you. If we can skip this route and not get an encounter, I'd be so happy. But there's no way we get through. Yeah. Oh, this is awful. Man, I knew I shouldn't have picked that item up. Uh, Snover. We may be able to catch this Snover. We'll see. Um, we're gonna go ahead and Astonish it. Okay, we, we can Astonish it again. And then we, we only have one Great Ball. That really stinks. I shouldn't have picked up that item. I knew I shouldn't have picked it up. Um, but yeah, so we get we get one chance to catch this Snover. So let's let's just uh, see if we go ahead and get it. Um, but our Nuzlocke has started now, so unfortunately we only have one Great Ball. But I think we got it. Yeah, let's go. We got Snover. Snover is now part of the Soul Squad. All right, and Snover, we are going to call you. 
Well, I would have named him Snowbominable, but that obviously does not fit. So he is Frosty the Snover Man. <laughs> okay, so we got uh, we got Snover on our team now. He's only level two though, which is unfortunate. Somewhat stubborn, hardy nature, and he has. Yo, he has heat proof. What is our luck with abilities? Oh my! All right, so that's an insane ability for. Oh right, I don't have the bag thing yet for that. That is an insane ability for a Snover. So unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get our Route 2 encounter because of... Um, oh right, I forgot I have to follow this guy. But yeah, so unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get our Route 2 encounter because of... Because of the fact that we got a Pokeball on Route 1. Um, but we did get our Snover, which is cool. I just hope that, there, that we don't really get an encounter that I actually want on Route 2. That would be a little bit unfortunate. Um, and I probably won't train uh, Frosty too much here in this episode just because, you know, it's the first episode, so obviously things don't really get going um, very, very much, or very quickly. Jeez. Um, okay, and now we have the running shoes, so I'm going to go ahead and take my mouse and click that, and now we're going to run everywhere. So we're going to go ahead and heal inside the Pokemon Center. Get up there, Frog. So, yep, now Frog and Frosty are full health. Okay, we're going to also go here real quick. See if we have... Oh, yeah! There's ball capsules. That's awesome! I don't think that we can actually change those yet, can we? Because we have to buy the things. Yeah, we have to get seals. Whoops. All right. So, anyways, we're going to uh, continue on. I think that we can get something from the old man if we go talk to him again. Oh, right, it's the radio card. We do need that, so we'll have to stop back through on our way back. No Pokeballs, unfortunately. That's, uh, that's sad. But it is what it is. Um, if Pokeballs were available, then I could buy some for Route 2. We're going to go ahead and put Frosty up front, get him leveled up a little bit. Not too much, obviously. He's only level 2. We're probably going to have to do Switch Training. Oh. Oh, okay. The map card. Right, Radio Card is later. He gives us the map card. Which you could miss in Generation 2 originally. Is this a Pokeball? Oh! A Flame Orb. That could be really good. Okay. Let's, uh... Flame Orb could be good. We're going to go ahead and get our... What is it? The Apricot Bag or Box or something? Yep, the Apricorn Box. Shout out to uh, a good generation being able to get Apricots quite easily instead of Generation 8. Uh, I hated how difficult it was in Generation 8 to get Apricorns. Um, we're going to go ahead and click off our running shoes. Probably gonna find an encounter, but just in case. Ball? Power belt? What is going on? That is such a sick item. Oh, never mind. I thought it was. I mean, it's still a sick item for EV training. I thought it was a um, black belt that increases fighting type. Or not, maybe not fighting type moves. Okay, I think that we wanted to go. Okay. I'm just... Oh, okay. Unfortunate. So we lost our Route 2 encounter. That's fine. A uh, Miss Magius? That would have been sick. Alright, can Frosty take this? There's no way Frosty can take this. Miss Magius has Drizzle as well? Uh-oh. Wait, maybe Frosty can take this. You know what? Oh. That was really odd. I pressed up on my D-pad and didn't go up. Maybe you can't just go straight up from run to fight. Let me see. Okay, so you cannot go straight up from run to fight. Okay, this Miss Magius is only using Growl, so maybe this thing doesn't have anything? Like, ha doesn't have an attacking move? So we're just gonna go ahead and fight it, I guess. I mean... Yikes. Uh, so we're definitely making a cut. Alright, and we are back, so... Um, 
Yeah, I could have stayed in with Frosty, but it had Psy Wave, and it also had Astonish. Frog's gonna hit level six though, and uh, yeah, that's a, that's pretty unfortunate. We lost our uh, encounter for Route Two, so close to. Well, I guess we would have had to also make it back, but what can you do? But we're gonna grab this pink apricorn and then we're gonna go inside Mr. Pokemon's house. Alrighty. Oh look, it's Professor Oak. Yep. That is me, Soul. What are you giving me, old guy? A mystery egg? From Ecruteak City. Nice, we got a heal, which is pretty cool because uh I was a little bit wounded from that. Jeez, my headset is just falling off. I need to adjust this later. Yeah, it's a rare Pokemon. It's a Snover. His name's Frosty. Got a Pokedex from Professor Oak. And we got his phone number. What's up with all these old people giving me their phone numbers? Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here now. Oh, right, that's, uh, Professor Elm's calling us. H hello It's a disaster? What's a disaster? Please get back here now. Well, alrighty then. Go ahead and, uh, get back there then. Okay, so we wouldn't have made it back without encountering another Pokemon on Route 2. Ooh, Eradicate. Oh, we'll go ahead and hit it with a Powder Snow. This shouldn't be able to do too much to us. Although it kills us if we get if it gets a crit. So we're going to want to switch out now. So we were able to... Noise. Alright. Oh, you have a berry? You... Out of everything you had, you had an Aspear Berry? Oh, no, man. I feel like that's just like... <laughs> that right there is just like, yup, this is how this run is going to go. <laughs> oh, that's so bad. That's awful. Okay, we're going to mud slap it. Lower his accuracy. He did use the uh, the uh, focus energy, so... Okay, he used the focus energy again. Oh, go ahead and hit him up with a poison sting, though. A tail whip. Look, you can whip that tail as much as you want, buddy, but I'm not going down. Frog is powerful. We're going to get this poison thing, either a crit or a poison to finish him off. We didn't get the poison, but that's okay. <laughs> so yeah, I'm actually really stoked that I have a Toxic Croak as my starter, and I'm actually pretty stoked about Snover as well. There are two really cool Pokemon. Having that Miss Magius would have been nice as well, um, just for coverage, but... Yeah, I mean, we didn't really, didn't really need it, I guess. Okay. Yeah, see, if we would have made it, if we wouldn't have fought those two Pokemon, we could have actually got, gotten pretty, uh, pretty lucky without having to go back. Um, so th he's either going to have a Hitmonlee, or what was the other Pokemon? I don't remember what the other Pokemon is, but a Hitmonlee would be terrible for us, for, for our Snover. So I feel like we should, well, whatever. We're just going to go for it. Huh? Sick music. Okay. All right. Versus. What? What? What's your name, guy? Passerby Boy. We're versing Passerby Boy. Wait, what? Wait a second. How do you have a Toxy Croak? What? He used the <laughs> He stole the starter that I started with. That's not fair, guy. Alright, we're gonna leer here. Don't poison me. You won't. You won't. Okay, we're gonna leer and then we're gonna switch out into Toxy Croak ourselves. Wow, that's actually really sick. Although why did he get a Toxy Croak? That's really odd. <laughs> I really don't understand how he has a Toxic Croak as well. That sucks. Oh, right, that's also super effective. 
Oof. This is actually pretty tough. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and go for our own mud slap. We have a minus one on his defense. Oh, that's a special attack, isn't it? Poison thing does nothing. Not worried about that. Can't get poisoned because we are also a poison type. But here we have the battle of two Toxicroaks. I missed. He missed. <laughs> All right. Our Toxicroaks are very well matched. Uh, I missed. He missed. <laughs> he missed. All right, come on, Toxicroak. Hit him. Yeah, get the flinch. We're obviously faster than him as well. Oh, but he hit us as well. Okay, so yeah, we should be good. Um, I forgot that Mud Slap is a special attack. What do you mean for someone who's weak? We literally have the same Pokemon. Can I stop missing? Yo, we are so evenly matched. Look at our frogs bouncing around. <laughs> All right, so we took out his Toxic Croak. Frosty hits level five. Got us a Razor Leaf. And Frog should hit level seven. Nice. Plus four HP. That's that's good HP gain. You want to know who I am? I'm going to be the world's greatest po- Excuse me, I'm going to be the world's greatest Pokemon trainer. So, okay. In the original game, um, in the original game, you are just asked his name randomly. Whoops. Uh, you're just asked his name randomly by, by like, a police officer. <laughs> and for some reason, you're just like, oh, yeah. I know, that's, uh, this dude, that's his name right there, and then you tell the police officer his name, and then everyone kind of made fun of it because it was, like, odd, where you're just kind of like, what, how, how did you know his name? So then they did, like, this little trainer card thing, which was like, okay, that's really cool, like, it actually added, you know, some context of, oh, this is why you know his name. Okay, well, the problem, wait, that's super effective, no, it's not, okay, we're good. Uh, so the problem with that though is how did we get his trainer card like I I'm just assuming that he dropped it but he said wait give me back my trainer card oh no you saw my name so like that just implies that we had it in our hand and we're staring at it did we just like pickpocket him I don't know but yeah I I just I'm <laughs> A little bit thrown off by that. Not really thrown off, I guess. Um, and isn't that... That's silver, right? Because the main character's name is Gold. Um, although in this version of the game, I think that it says that his default name is Gold, but we're going to name him Silver because that's his name. I mean, geez. Everyone should know who Silver is. They built a mountain after him. Which hopefully we uh, <laughs> end up getting there. I also love how he's like, whoever did it will come back to the scene of the crime. And he's like, wait a second, you came back. You must be the criminal. <laughs> I love that. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to name our rival Silver, uh, just to keep it canonical. I mean, although I guess uh should have named myself Gold or Ethan. I think Ethan is the canonical name for the main character here. But yeah, so, uh, yep, thanks, Lyra. I definitely couldn't talk for myself, so. All right, let's give Elm this mystery egg that he is, uh, searching for. Gym challenge? Okay, well. Okay, I guess I gotta talk to my mother again. Who gives me Pokeballs? I don't remember who, but, uh, we have another route. I think another two right yes i want you to save me money so she can buy you stuff and send stuff to your pc which is just fantastic um let's see do we actually have pokeballs yet no we don't so a flame orb would be really sick if we get it on like a pokemon that has like guts or facade um maybe do i talk to you to get pokeballs nope okay well we're just gonna go ahead and heal uh Okay, we gotta talk to the PC to heal. So yeah, we're gonna heal our Pokemon, and I guess we get our Pokeballs on the next route. But yeah, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go continue. 
Oh yeah, I think Lyra. Lyra shows us how to catch Pokemon, and then she gives us a Pokeball. But we already have two Pokemon, Lyra. Okay, I'll follow you then. Um, Lyra. Okay. Alright. Uh, uh, Lyra. Lyra, 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 that's not a good matchup. Use the Meryl, Lyra. Guna has Sandstream, that's kind of interesting. Lyra, use the, use the Meryl. Oh no. Oh no. Lyra. Lyra, what are you doing? It's, well, I mean, okay, you're not wrong. It's HP is down. She's got 20 Pokeballs? Why are you holding out on me, Lyra? Um, Lyra, I don't think that's gonna work. Lyra? Lyra has an Entei. I don't know if you ever battle Lyra. Um, yeah, okay, so I think she gives us 5 or 10 Pokeballs. Yeah, I don't think that we ever actually battle Lyra, but... If we did, if she had that Entei, I would be scared. Okay, she only gives us five, which is what she get, what most games give you. I think the newer games are where they give you like 10, and I think Sword and Shield gave you like 20. It was crazy. Oh, a Snubble. Okay. Well, Frosty can definitely take out the Snubble. So we're going to go... Sn what is with every Pokemon having Drizzle? We had Toxicroak... Snubble and Miss Magius all have Drizzle. Wow. Good job, Frosty. Yeah, we're just gonna crit him now with a Razor Leaf. So yeah, so I think that we're gonna... You're a frozen icicle. How did you dodge? What? Come on, Frosty. Hit it. <sighs> Sigh. Okay, but yeah, so uh, definitely I'm proud that we got, or I'm happy that we got Frosty over a Snubble, even though Snubble could be Bola, which was um, my Grand Bull in my Fire Red Nuzlocke. Shout out to Bella. Bola, not Bella. But yeah, so we have an encounter up here. So, um, let's go for it, right? I mean, might as well. Maybe we could have bought some Pokeballs, but... Oh, I am not catching this, am I? Oh, my. Okay, um... We may kill this with a Razor Leaf, but I don't want to go out into Toxic Croak in case it has some kind of, like, Rock-type move. Okay, sick. Okay, if he uses that, like, two times, I think that I will go for another Razor Leaf. Dude, if we could get a Torterra... I mean, we only have five Pokeballs, like, it's not gonna happen, but, oh my gosh, if we did, that would be sick. I am fully planning on using all of my Pokeballs here, just so you are aware. I want him to go for another Absorb so I can Razor Leaf him again. Yeah, there, we're, there's, there's no way, there's no way. But, I mean, a Torterra is so cool. Torterra is one of my favorite final evolutions of starters. I really like grass type starters, funnily enough. Hey, wait a second. You can't Razor Wind. Razor Wind? You can't Razor Leaf me. Okay, I'm actually. Uh, I'm gonna go for another Razor Leaf. Uh, put him in the red. If he dies, that's unfortunate. But we only have two balls, anyways. Yeah, okay. Darn. Yeah, we only had two balls anyways, so it wasn't very likely that we would catch him regardless. Um, especially if we weren't able to lower his health down a little bit more. But, yeah. Oh, so, I don't think that I mentioned that the, uh, this, ep uh, this series has a 5%... Oh, wait, does it? No, I don't have a level modifier on this, uh, series like I did last time. Because we just got so outpaced. Uh, my fire red randomizer that it was actually a little bit insane um but what it does have is after a certain level i think i set it to level 50 after a certain level every pokemon we fight is going to be fully evolved 
um so we won't like find like the champion you know won't have like a kakuna it will have a beedrill if it gets randomized to a weedle it will automatically be a beedrill instead of a weedle if that makes sense uh let's check the shop okay we have heal balls so uh the shops are obviously randomized as well um whoop no no i don't want to buy mail was there two people in the shop before oh anyways let's buy some balls okay uh we should buy a paralyzed healer maybe two two paralyzed heals and we're gonna buy three anti four antidotes this is 1200 we can buy four potions all right we have literally zero money so you know that's sick all right and i think what we're gonna do is hit our first trainer battle to wind up this episode so right up here but yeah I'm, i try to keep my episodes at like 30 ish minutes and we're at about 29 right now so all right we look weak there's literally no way that you defeat us joey oh no it's joey and his top percentage ekans whatever will we do joey is one of the even though i normally don't take people's phone numbers in um soul silver oh that could actually suck don't poison me why do you do this all right, so Frosty's poison, so we're gonna just go ahead and switch out into Frog. Now we're getting that Drizzle. Drizzle kind of, I mean, Drizzle's good, but it also kind of stinks, right? Because we are going to have to watch the Drizzle animation every time that we sorry every time that we send in frog and then on top of that we're going to have to watch the drizzle animation in between every turn but hey there we go we knocked out that ekans all right and we beat young joey yep i'll give you my number only because of your top percentage ekans all right guys and that is going to be it for today's episode i hope that you really enjoyed it um i absolutely love soul silver so i'm i've been extremely excited to start this i got my new microphone my new camera i got my new headset and we are ready to roll so if you liked today's episode go ahead and leave a comment subscribe and like the video so that you don't miss the next episode the next episode would normally go up on wednesday it's going to go up on Friday instead. The reason being, because on Wednesday, we are doing a TCG opening of um, a Wrath of Gods booster box for Yu-Gi-Oh! And then I think for the next three or three Wednesdays after that, so for like the next month, we're going to have TCG openings every single Wednesday. The rest of them are all Pokemon. It's just this one Yu-Gi-Oh! box, really. And then it's going to be some loose packs, loose packs, Vivid Voltage booster box to cap it off. But all right, guys, thank you so much for watching and have a nice day. Bye.